Okay, I'm back for part two. I'm sorry, this sucks. This is the first time I've had to do a two-parter, but, uh, sorry, I have to. <laughs> I wanted to get all my info out there. So, yeah, back to the belly bar. Chocolate shoes, not horrible, not something, I mean, I don't know if I'll buy another bag once these are gone, um, but definitely something, like I said, if you don't like, like I said, I take my prenatal, and then these are just extra boosts. I guess something if you need, um, you know, you crave chocolate or, I don't know, you want to take extra vitamins, but, like I said, I just thought I would share that with you. <sighs> My goodness. I completely forgot to finish my story about my sickness. <laughs> um, I got off the whole subject of the being sick and all that other stuff. I'm like all over the place. Sorry. If you don't watch this video, it's okay. I won't be offended. <laughs> um, so, like I said, I was sick. Felt better Sunday. Went back to work Monday. You know, was fine. Then we had a mishap at our house. The bathtub cracked. Yay. Um, so we had to deal with that, and somebody had to come out. It was a two-day job, and then we couldn't use the tub for two days. So that's mainly, that's the biggest reason why I haven't done a video, because we've been, I've just been busy with dealing with them, have, because it's like a two-day two job, and, you know, somebody has to be here. And, um, and then on top of that, I'm tired. Um. And then I have to go to, luckily my mom doesn't live too far from us, so we went over there and showered those days, but I have to go at the night and shower so I can, you know, be clean for the next day. Um, so it's just been, it's basically that's been it. That's the biggest thing is I'm tired, but how I do everything for the day, make dinner, clean up, um, and then go to my mom's and shower, come home, I'm just tired. I'm too tired to do a video, and that's usually what I do them is after work. Um. So, I do apologize, and hopefully it won't happen again. Hopefully, my bathroom shouldn't break again. Um, so, you know, we should be good to go from here on out, hopefully, unless I just get extremely tired or, you know, whatever. Um, but, I am here, and I'm doing my update. Um, as far as symptoms, like I said, not, nothing really. I'm, I feel like I'm starting to get my energy back, um, but that could be because I bought my pillow and I'm sleeping better now. Um, I think I might have felt the baby move. I'm not really sure because this is all new. Um, but I felt down where the baby would be, like, really low, um, right, like, right above my, uh, pelvic bone. And it was kind of, like, how they describe it, like, a flutter, like, bubbling, kind of, like, it was just a really weird feeling. And I only felt it for a couple seconds, and then it was, I was sitting at my desk, and I was working, I was on my computer all day. Um, and I just felt it, and then I was like that's weird, like, was that gas, or is that my baby, like, what's going on, so, I'm not really sure, I have only, I haven't felt it again, or if I have, I've either ignored it, or, um, that sounds really bad, I'm ignoring my kid already, he's not even here yet, um, but I either ignored it, or I've just been busy and moving and stuff that I don't feel it or don't recognize it, um, as, you know, the baby moving, so, I don't know if I will count that. I'm going to say the first time I actually feel the baby moves when I can actually tell, feel a kick or something, which should be in the coming weeks. They say usually it's between 16 and 20 weeks. Um, I'm probably going to be closer to 20 because I'm a, chunk, a chunky monkey, so maybe I have to kick through a couple extra layers for me to feel it. Um, so, but we will see. What else? I don't know. Like I said, this is all new to me, but I feel like... This baby is going to sit really low for most of the pregnancy. Because um, in the books and stuff, I read that your uterus is supposed to start moving up. And it should be, like, right under my belly button at this point. I don't know if that's the case. I don't know. I I always feel, I, I mean, like I said, this is all new, but I always feel like I have to use the restroom. And a lot of times I'll go and there's nothing. Um, and I feel like because there's pressure on my bladder, which I would think if the baby, the uterus is moving up, then it shouldn't be like that. It should be that I would have um, less room to eat. You know, like, you know, my stomach is getting smaller and stuff. So, I don't know. I, like I said, this is all new, so maybe this is all normal. Um, but that's just how I feel. And there's nothing wrong with the baby, you know, sitting low. That's, it's fine. That's wherever they're going to sit is where they're going to sit. Um, but that's just my inkling. I, I could be wrong. I have no clue. Um, because they say you, can, you should be able to feel your uterus. I don't know how true that is or not. Um, but I can't feel crap. I don't feel, like, I kind of feel my stomach hard, or maybe that's the uterus. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, I, I just have a feeling that this baby's going to sit low for most of the pregnancy. Um, 
think what else I want to talk about. I can show you guys what I've bought in for over this um, last few days. I we went to this is all bought in different days, basically over you know whenever we went. Usually on the weekends we go to the stores or Friday. Um, so we had went to Target and I bought these are 50 cents each and they're just little socks they're 0 to 6 months these ones have little skulls and hearts super cute and these, these are just little purple ones that I got um, 50 cents each and then this I paid full price for it which is the first full price item I've bought in my child um, but it was still only nine dollars but it was at Target it was just I, it was too cute to pass up and I got nine months um, because she was going to be born in October, and then I kind of just counted and figured, you know, even if she's a little bit big, six months will still be, she'll be, it'll be like April this time. And for us, it's hot already. It's already 90 degrees here, 80 to 90 degrees. So she'll be able to wear, but it's a tank top, um, little like onesie. It says Wild Child, and then it's like got a zebra tutu on it, and then you can see it's like a little, just a, the bottom of the onesie, but. It is too freaking cute. I think it's so cute. I love it. So, like I said, this is nine bucks at Target. And it's regular price. So, if anybody likes it or knows they're having a girl at Target, nine dollars. They had a couple other styles too, but I love the animal print. So, I thought it was just too cute. Um, we went to Ross, and at Ross, I got her um, these little hats. Five hats, and they were three ninety nine. They're Gerber. And this one says Little Sweetie, and then the other ones are just plain, but it's like a pink and purple and blue striped one, and then a baby blue one, and then this one's just cute. This is one of my favorites. It's got little hearts on it, and then this one is a little pink, this plain, solid pink. So that was $3.99. Um, like I said, she's going to be born in October, and, you know, so I think these will come in handy, at least for the first, you know, few months if we go anywhere. Um, and then I got these little shoes. They were so cute. The little pink um, cheetah. So these are really cute. I thought with a little pair of jeans or some little shorts or something or maybe even a little dress. These are 9 to 12 months. So, you know, she won't wear these for a while but I just thought they were too freaking cute. And they were only three ninety nine. So I got those. And then um, I got her this at Old Navy. And it's so cute like a little monkey with hearts and this is three to six months and it was six ninety nine and half off to come to last weekend this weekend I don't know they had their one of the stores had a they were moving so their clearance was an extra fifty percent off and I got like a pair of skinny jeans for work and two shirts for like my jeans were like five bucks and the shirts were like three bucks each so I got her this this is the only thing I thought that was cute and it is um long sleeve and long pants so that'll be good for her because she'll be about three months in December so it'll be cold here so I got her that. That's all I've bought for her. Um, what else? I guess that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm feeling good, doing good. Um, I can't believe I'm almost halfway. Like, in a few weeks, I'll be 20 weeks. Excuse me. And I'll be halfway. It's, it's insane to me. It's just crazy. But I'm so excited. So excited to see my, hopefully my belly will start growing. I think it's kind of just stayed the same. Um, but... We'll see. We'll see what the future brings, and um, I will, like I said, do another update after my doctor's appointment on Monday. I'll probably do it on Tuesday, um, just because it'll be easier for me to do. Um, but let me do a real quick belly shot, and then I will let you ladies go. Okay, guys. Sorry, I have to add another little piece because my camera freaking cut off my belly shot for whatever stupid reason. I knew it was dinging at me for something. But anyways, here's my quick belly shot. There it is. I hope you can see this. Whoa. Don't fall over. <laughs> so there I am. 16 weeks. There's baby Rodriguez. I was going from the front. You probably really can't see much, but... There it is, and the other side. There it is. 16 weeks. Okay, ladies. Now, for real, bye. I'll see you guys. I will update on next week on Tuesday.
Bye. Have a happy Easter, everyone.